Tales, story time brought to you by Prep. Prager used resources for educators and parents. <gasps> hey, uh, chips! I'm so hungry, thank you. you know <laughs> Otto? We'll talk about this later. On with the story. I'm Jill, and today we're reading 10 Steps to Freedom, A Growing Patriot's Guide to the American Revolution, written by Amelia Hamilton, illustrated by Anthony Resto, and book designed by Jennifer Lake. Now, I want you to listen to the rhymes in this story, and at the end, you're gonna tell me why we celebrate the 4th of July. The Tea Act passed, and colonists were mad, so we wanted to return the tea we had. It was wrong for Britain to pass this taxation without colonial representation. Into Boston Harbor, the tea was thrown. The taxes weren't fair and we wouldn't pay. King George and the British had to know that we would fight them from that day. Congress called for colonial resistance. A fight was coming and we would go the distance. One if by land and two if by sea. In the Old North Church, the lanterns would be to warn that the British would be there soon. Two brave men rode by the light of the moon. From Boston Road, Revere and Dawes, they rode all night and never paused to warn John Hancock and Sam Adams, for we could not let the British have them. Our troops were ready with the light of day. American freedom was on the way. The war began with a single shot at the Battle of Lexington Green. British and colonial soldiers fought then had to reconvene. The revolution had begun, the colonists fighting back. Sure that freedom could be won, withstanding British attacks. After this important day, it could not be undone. The whole wide world was watching. Revolution had begun. Revolution was on, there was no doubt. So Congress met that spring, striving for victory in every bout, for freedom from the king. Local militias had fought alone, but they had to band together. The Continental Army, as it would be known, would win us our freedom forever. Most importantly, those men in attendance began real steps towards independence. On the 4th of July, when you watch the sky and see it burning bright, remember what it means and why we celebrate that night. The Declaration says that we can govern on our own. They stated our rights and that we would fight to give these rights a home. They freed us all from tyranny and risked it all for liberty. 13 stripes of red and white and 13 stars on blue. Under this flag, we began to fight and to this day still do. Each colony fighting for us to be free had a stripe on the flag all its own, a new constellation for liberty, as free as the stars that shone. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Creating a firm league of friendship among our 13 states, forging bonds we would not rip together to share one fate. This document gave our country a name and brought us together as one. The United States we then became, our new nation had begun. This was it, the true formation of one strong, undivided nation. The Treaty of Paris marked the end of the war they bravely fought, and to this day we respect and defend the Founders' deeds and thoughts. John Adams, Ben Franklin, and John Jay made the most of what we'd won. Freedom found its place that day our country had begun. Once it was signed, we'd officially done it. We had our own nation and the will to run it. Our Constitution is our final word and America's firm foundation. Its words and spirit must always be heard. It is the backbone of our nation. To pass, only nine states had to vote yes. But Benjamin Franklin said, to have every state sign, it would be best. All 13 followed where Franklin led. Once each of the states had done its part, our country was off to a running start. In Virginia, George Washington heard the news and rode to New York without delay. The voters had spoken, he would not refuse, our first inauguration day. He became the president at Federal Hall, our capital's original site. Americans came to see it all. This moment was worth the fight. With President Washington, we moved ahead where our founding fathers had bravely led. The end. 
We love the reading and rhyming in this book, but it's also really important because it explains to us the whole story about how and why brave men and women wanted America to be its own country, separate from Great Britain. Learning American history is fun, and it's something I'm still learning about and having fun with, too. And I'm a mommy, right? Now, aren't you glad you're learning all this, Otto? Yes. Oh, and why do we celebrate the 4th of July? <gasps> Because that's the date when America declared our freedom. Very good. <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep learning. We're so glad you joined us for today's reading. Storytime is made possible through the generous support of donors like you. You can help keep the stories coming by going to PragerU.com slash donate today.